I'm really nervous about my date with Ellen tonight. I mean, I want to impress her, but what if I mess things up? Imagine your date fumbling for words after tripping over his own shoelace for the second time in five minutes. Yep, that was our first and last date. Trust me, I've seen it all. Monologues so one-sided, I felt like I was listening to the first draft of his autobiography. I'm looking forward to being bored to death. And don't even get me started on the guy who brought his pet rock named Dwayne. No judgment, Dwayne, but maybe ease a lady into that bit a little more slowly next time. But listen, I'm here to tell you it doesn't have to be that way. No more cringing memories. No more wishing you had brought a book or a pet rock of your own. Because today I'm spilling the secrets to first dates so phenomenal, they'll beg you for a second. I don't believe you! I'm talking sparks flying and memories that'll have you giggling in your grandma's rocking chair years down the line. Now buckle up because the next few minutes are packed with tips so potent, they'll have your date swooning faster than a teenager at a BTS concert. Anyways, if I can survive the rock, you can totally nail this. Without further ado, here are my 10 tips to have an amazing first date. Tip number one, ditch the monologue, spark the dialogue. The time before the date is for getting to know me, the woman. By the time we are on our first date, I'm aggravated if there are awkward silences. Also guys, forget dinner and a movie. Choose an activity that ignites both of our passions. Let's have some fun, let's have some fun. For example, I'm a bit of a geek, so let's explore a quirky museum or challenge each other to a game of Jenga. Take the time that you are texting and FaceTiming to find out her interests. Don't waste that time only flirting. Use the first date to create shared experiences and memorable moments. Plan something unique. Surprise your date with an extraordinary experience. How about a cooking class or a sunset hike? Stepping out of the ordinary shows that you've put effort into making the date special. I promise you if you do that, you will be unforgettable. Tip number two, master the art of the open ear and closed phone. Let me be honest with you. The moment one of our phones come out on a first date is the moment the opportunity for a second date decreases dramatically. Ladies, comment down below if you agree. During the first date, you must show me that you deserve all of my attention. One way to do that is by making the date exciting as I said in tip number one. But another way is to give me the gift of your full attention. You have my undivided attention. <clears throat> Lean in, ask follow-up questions, and let genuine curiosity drive the conversation. Show genuine interest in your date. Ask meaningful questions and actively listen to their answers. Engage in heartfelt conversations and make her feel valued. Remember, it's not just about talking, but truly connecting with the other person. Communication is a two-way street, so give your date the opportunity to express themselves. Show empathy and understanding by really hearing what they have to say. This will leave a lasting impression. Tip number three, be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to share that embarrassing story about the time you got wasted and your head stuck in the toilet. Story, story, story. I had a date once who shared the time he got a flat tire on side of the road and spent three hours trying to figure out how to change it. Women love that. A dash of vulnerability humanizes you and proves you're not too cool for a good laugh, even at your own expense. Plus, it lets us know you're comfortable enough to be yourself, imperfections and all. If you show your vulnerabilities, that will make us more likely to share ours sooner rather than later. Tip number four, leave room for serendipity. Be spontaneous. Don't script our date like a Shakespearean play. Be open to spontaneous detours, unplanned adventures, and conversations that veer off the beaten path. Sometimes the most magical moments are born from the silly moments. And who knows, you might discover a shared love for self-absorbed cats. Tip number five, exit gracefully and leave them wanting more. Dates are like episodes in a thrilling Netflix series. You want to leave your date on a cliffhanger, eager for what's next. End on a positive note, expressing your enjoyment and hinting at a potential next chapter. A playful, this was fun, maybe we can continue the adventure sometime, goes a long way. Remember, you want us leaving with a smile, not desperately checking our watch. And there's no quicker way to ruin this vibe than leaning in for a first kiss, especially if you're the type of guy that struggles to read the room. Like right there. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thank <Awesome>. you. <laughs> you can't do that. Why not? If she wants a kiss goodnight, you will know. I promise you, women aren't as cool as you might think. When it comes to love or lust, we tend to have terrible poker faces. But if you play your hand too soon, you will be asked to leave the table and may not get an invitation back. Tip number six, be yourself. Authenticity is key when it comes to making a lasting impression. Don't pretend to be someone you're not just to please your date. If you are on hard times right now, it's better to focus on yourself anyways. You're more likely to get the woman of your dreams when you are on stable ground. Because if you fake it till you make it, you will lose your pride in the woman. 
even Dwayne. I'm sure there are millions of women out there ready to embrace the challenge of helping him raise and care for his pet rock. Just not me. Doesn't mean anything is wrong with him. Doesn't mean anything is wrong with me. We're just not compatible. Embrace your true self because being genuine is incredibly attractive to the right one. And don't forget to check out my blog at relationshipsandtravel.com for more relationship advice and fun personality quizzes. If you'd like to be inspired even further, click on this video next.